Okay, let's go ahead and import some survey data from a text file. Uh, we have our survey data file created. You see there's no actual data in it. So let's go to File, Import, Survey Data, and let's set this to file type, text file. Uh, let's go in and find our text file. There's this one. Uh, let's click on Options and our point seed number. Eh, let's go ahead and put that in point number 101. That, that's where our point numbering will start. And this is optional. This step here is optional. Go ahead and click OK. Highlight that. Click Import. And that brings up our text import wizard. Uh, the first item is the record format. Uniform, all records have the same format. Uh, that's the option we'll, that we'll select here. Uh, the next one is our data type. Is it delimited or fixed width columns? In this case, we have fixed width columns. Here's our data file, and you can see our uh, data is just organized into fixed width columns. Uh, delimited would be um, inroads would detect automatically what type of delimiter you have separating your columns. Um, there could be, you know, there might be commas here or semicolons separating your columns, in which case you would select the delimited option and we'll click next just to demonstrate. And in our case, our delimiter, our columns are separated just by a space. So inroads automatically detects that. If there was a comma in there, it would automatically have commas uh, the comma selected. If there was a comma and a space, it would automatically select these two, and so on. Okay, let's go back. Let's set this to the fixed width columns, and start import at row number, and it looks like our data starts at 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Looks like our data starts at row 8, so I'll put an 8 in here, and that gets rid of that extraneous information that was above it. So with those three settings set, let's go ahead and click Next, and here's our columns. Uh, we can set our column widths here. What you do is just take your cursor right at the end of the number here and just left click, insert a column break, insert another one there, insert another one there, put one at the beginning of that column, at the beginning of that column, and we have one, two, three, f oh, we have an extra column here. Yeah, if you insert an extra column separator, just simply left click on it again and delete it. We can delete this one. We can even move it there. So there we go. That looks good. Easting, northing, elevation. Here's our feature name and our code. Okay, let's click next. And let's format our column headers. I'll select on the column header here and our data format in this column is our Eastings. I'll select this column header here. This is Northing. Or you could also just right click on the column and this would be Elevation. Uh, this will be Note. And this will be Code. And when you're done, just simply click Finish. Uh, if you want to, if you use this format often, you can just save it as a text import wizard. Just click Save As, uh, navigate to wherever you want to save it, uh, name it, and it saves it as a text import wizard, the .tiw file, and then just click Save. I'll cancel out of that. We won't bother to save it. And when you're done formatting your columns, just simply click Finish, and I'll click Close on that, and you see some of our planometrics automatically displayed. And now you see our field book has been populated with data. There's a station number. We'll click on the station number, and there's some point names. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our field book. And you see the points uh, started at point 101, which is what we set in our options. Uh, again, that was just an optional step. It's not required. And at this point, you can review your field book data. Uh, let me close that out. 
you can display some of your planimetrics. Uh, let's go with point names and whatnot. Um, and that's how to import your survey data from a standard text file.